Hi everyone, I'm Ken from Crypto Trading KS. If you're new, welcome, and welcome back to our regular community. Twice a day, seven days a week, I share my experience as a full-time crypto trader. My goal is to assist you to become more of a financial blessing to yourself and those you love. Everything I do for you is free. Let's run the numbers. Bitcoin currently trading at 35, 767 up 4.16%. Ethereum currently trading at 2161 up 3.39%. We notice the stable coins USDC, DAI, USDT, BUSD registering green. That means money is flowing in from the crypto market into these stable coins. I'd just like to say thank you to our wonderful and beautiful community. I always do my best to respond to everyone's comments. I read every comment before every episode and I leave a like and a heart where I can. If I've missed you, it's it's just because I haven't seen the comment. But thank you so much to everyone and welcome to all the new people that are joining. Let's quickly have a look at market sentiment. Each episode, we just run through these and figure out what is what. It's balanced today. It's five positive, five negative. I really wanted to draw your attention to ARK Invest filing for a Bitcoin ETF. This is Signal. In episode 91, we saw BitcoinTreasuries.org have a value of Bitcoin here at $50.49 billion today. In this episode, it's $52.163 billion. That's an increase of nearly $1.7 billion. Or in the last 12 hours, we could say that's around $140 million per hour. It's important to know that the number of Bitcoin haven't changed. Now, why is Kathy Wood really interested in putting money into Bitcoin? She understands that Bitcoin crypto as a whole is actually growing far more quickly than the internet ever did. So you could go back in time to the dawn of Amazon's listing and buy Amazon at $1.53. It's currently trading at $34.48 and 14 cents. Quite a, quite a good improvement. Remember that there was the year Y2K many crashes crashes the gfc crash 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 COVID. what would that investment if you just put a dollar 53 what would that look like now there's a really great site that i want to share with you it's called calculator.net if we put that dollar 53 in and that 30 40 34 48 14 and we set the start and the end dates look at what happens the annualized return on investment was 37.9% per year over the past 24 years. That's a pretty healthy return. Can you imagine if you put more in it? This is what Kathy Wood is looking for. Returning to this specific graph, I just wanted to show you that basically the technological adoption of crypto is growing so quickly that you are literally buying the Amazon share at that price, but it's crypto and you are owning the most important changes that are, the world will ever see. I'd like to share rule 47 with you. Master your edge. Every investor and every trader needs an edge. It's said that around 90% or nine out of 10 people lose money when they trade or invest. The key is to make sure that you're one of the 10% that is okay and prospering. I always suggest taking the road less traveled. The main street, the nine out of 10 people tend to be walking down this road all the time. And they're using different patterns and different indicators and different moving averages and all of those things. And all of those things are valid. What we try to do as a community is kind of go off the main road onto our little track and then see inside the engine of crypto. We're literally trying each episode to see what makes this engine tick, but do so in a way that a, 
eight year old or a 10 year old could understand, we don't wanna be technical, we wanna be really, really practical. When we do our research, we are thinking about this really. Rolf Waldo Emerson said, research is not seeing what others do not see. It is seeing the same thing as other people and thinking what they do not. That's what everything we do is about here, to create an edge. Let's use rule 171 and zoom out. We zoom out to gain context where the crypto market is heading. We know Bitcoin is a very powerful force in the crypto market. We know that the bull market is in psychological sunshine with investors, ETFs, companies wanting to invest more and more. Getting deeper into the engine, when we look at net realized profit and loss, what it really means, this red, these red spikes down, means that people have sustained very, very heavy losses. When they've sustained very heavy losses, they've pretty much sold all they're going to sell, and that tends to hammer in a bottom. We need many graphs and many charts to substantiate anything that we say. This one is really good. This is a Tether USD balance on all exchanges. Tether is the largest stable coin. It gives us an indication like Bitcoin gives us an indication into the crypto market. We can see when Tether spikes in terms of exchange balances, we tend to have a very good action in price. I'll show you that next. You can see here it's spiking on the exchanges. That's really positive. I've included a few new things, but this is the Tether spiking here around $3.9 billion and the Tether spiking just now around over $4 billion. When it spiked, when the money came onto the exchanges, it was deployed. When the money came onto the exchange, exchanges, it is being deployed too. Very quickly, I want to show you the SSR, which the, is the Bitcoin stable coin supply ratio. What I want you to do is just kind of understand the pattern. When we look at this orange line down here at this dip, we can see Bitcoin's price action dipping. Again, in this dip, Bitcoin's price action dipping. Notice what follows. We don't know what follows yet, but we have a fair idea. Price action coming after a dip tends to be quite positive. It's just helping us trade and invest from a probabilistic stance. Maxim, a member of our community, suggested that we look at Bitcoin search terms in Google. I think it's a fascinating idea. When we look at this like this, we're doing the research, but let's try and see what other people do not see. When we overlay the Google search hits with the particular price action, what we notice is Google searches tend to go off the charts when people are really, really fearful. It's quite neat to overlay. We'll keep on doing this. Let's turn to the fear and greed index. The greed index at fear and greed is currently registering 28, which is fear. It's gone from extreme fear to fear, which is always a good thing. I want to apologize for the level of sound, background sound. We're actually experiencing a lot of construction around my office where I'm recording from. I've done my best to block it out, but it still comes in. I really apologize for that. Let's go with rule 172, zoom in. Let's have a look at Bitcoin technical analysis. Bitcoin is currently trading at 35,752. In episode 91, it was 35,158. We can see a behavioral fingerprint of Bitcoin. We talked about the M, we talked about the W. What do you think that looks like? Could you please let me know in the comment? It would be really interesting. To me, it kind of looks like an arm, you know, maybe with the hand going down. I'm not sure, but it's a really bizarre fingerprint. So I would love to hear what you think. What we can see with this particular price action is that it is above this support. That clean air above support always shows us strength. That's a beautiful thing to see. Bitcoin is currently trading above that psychological level of $35,000. It turned it to support. This is a wonderful thing. It's making a play 
at the 36,171 mark and not doing too badly. We know price is always moving in a way. So we're not freaked out or upset or anything when price moves down. It's really good to keep that one in mind. Bitcoin has support at that $35,000 mark, which is key. It also has structural support at 34,267. That's quite strong. You can see there's some very positive setups on this chart right now. As part of our daily routine, we always look at the relativity between shorts and longs. We can see the shorts here are decreasing. The longs were increasing, but they've suffered a bit of damage. That is really explicable by Bitcoin's fingerprint at the moment. Let's have a look at the liquidations. Currently, over the past 24 hours, there's been about $269 million worth of liquidations. 65,590 traders were liquidated. Over the past hour, nearly 87% of liquidations were short. We've had quite a few long liquidations recently and had a lot of short liquidations in the past. I'd just like you to have a very quick look at Bitcoin's fingerprint. You can see the M, you can see the W and maybe that arm thingy. Just let me know in the comments what you think that thing is. The reason I showed you that is we, because we're going to go to rule 93, which is a critical rule. Bitcoin's fingerprint impacts every alt. If we look at the total crypto market cap, we can see that M, that W and that arm thingy. And there's a lot of space below that support line that we've drawn for Bitcoin. And we drew the same one here for the total market. That's really, really positive stuff. The total market cap is currently $1.433 trillion. Quite a nice repair on where we were current uh, before. We always want to analyze our trades, the psychology of the market. So I always put this in top 7% on gainers and losses on 24 hours and seven days. The top seven, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Tether, Binance Coin, Cardano, Doge, and XRP. Let's look at the top 24 hour percent gainers. Ethereum Classic, Bitcoin Gold, Qtum, Elrond, Filecoin, Decred, and Vet. Let's go the other way. The greatest losses, KSM, Compound, Celo, BSV, One, TFuel, and BTT. Remember, price is always moving in a wave. That's the nature of these things. Don't be too concerned if things tend to retrace because that's just what they do. Seven day percentage gainers, ETC, Celo, BTG, XDC, DCR, QTUM and Anchor. Let's go the other way. Percentage losses over the past seven days, the greatest ones. Rev, TFuel, Near, Amp, MDX, Nexo, Leo. A lot of people have been asking for TFuel. I'm going to definitely do some analysis on that one for you. I always listen to what the community asks for. I'm here for you. I really want to do and help you as much as I can. We know Bitcoin's fingerprint impacts every alt. We see the M, the W and the arm. Look at that fresh air above this support line that we've drawn into this chart. That's looking really good, very positive. Ethereum is currently trading at 2160. It has support below at 2100 and 2020. It's literally at the resistance now seeking to turn that into support at 2178. The next resistance level above that is 2304. Binance Coin is currently trading at 299.58. It's just above structural support at 291.52 and above support at 278.17. It's got resistance at the 309 level and 318.46 as well. If we look at Bitcoin's fingerprint, the M, the W, we can see weakness in this W and the hand. We can see a degree of weakness, but it's still, if we draw that consistent line, it's still looking good. It's got fresh air above it. 
I think potentially this weakness that we saw in the W could be more related to the structural resistance that's impacting Binance coin. Let's have a look at Cardano ADA. ADA is currently trading at 136.19. It's above support at 133.43 and 128.48. It's seeking to take out the next resistance level at 140. We can notice the M, the W, and we see the W's being a little bit stronger here, and then the arm. We don't have as much clean air above this, and this particular support line is drawn to that sort of second bottom in the W, uh, the M, sorry, just the start of the W. Let's have a look at Dogecoin. Doge is currently trading at 26.012. It's above support at 24.892. And the next real resistance level is 29.138. We look at Bitcoin's fingerprint, the M, and we saw a very powerful M up to structural resistance that then sold off. And this became part of the W, which gets squashed out. Now we're seeing that arm come into play. We don't have a lot of fresh air above this support line, so but what we actually do above this structural resistance, it's now structural report support, and structural support can actually ping this off, so the price would attack that 29138 level. Let's have a look at XRP. In the past, because XRP is trading under a dollar. I just used to call out, say, 7024 as the current price. Uh, a community member recommended that I would put a zero in front of it. Thanks very much for that suggestion. That's great. If that helps people, it's fantastic. XRP is currently trading at 0 0.7021. It's coming up to structural resistance, which is a key thing to be aware of. We saw that XRP hit that resistance at around 70, sorry, 0 0.7149 and backed off. We always expect that to occur. That is in no way unusual. Currently, support is under XRP's current price at 0 0.6740 and also, uh, also 0 0.6740. 6560. I'm having trouble with my words today. <laughs> Please forgive me. Mm. When we get across from this structural resistance at 0 0.7149, the next level of resistance is 0 0.7737. Let's have a look at Polkadot. Dot. Currently, Dot is trading at 16.559. It has support below at 15.357 and resistance above at 17.297. It's looking really good. Dot, the real next level of resistance above is 19.569. This is very light resistance in between the current price of 16.547 and that higher level of 19.569. It's looking quite healthy. And we can see a lot of fresh air above that line that we keep on drawing consistently in each of the alts that we analyze. The real thing is just try to be consistent as you possibly can in your thinking and also in the way that you draw your lines. It's always really good to think of yourself have your technical analysis. You are an artist. If you see what other people don't see, that's beautiful. That can be your edge. That's what you want to do. As part of my personal edge, I love to share with you what I look at in the Binance derivatives. Current 24-hour trading volume is 69.69 billion. 24-hour open interest is 5.875 billion. I'm looking specifically for double digit gains. It gives me an insight. It's very interesting that in the previous session, the previous episode, Bitcoin was lower about half 
Ethereum's percentage gain. Now it's inversed. It's gone the other way. These are really interesting things to keep your mind on. Ethereum Classic up to 34%. That's pretty, pretty good stuff. Filecoin 13.9. You just want to get a bit of a feel for it. VET is coming up 12.9. We'll cover VET later in the next episode. Zek 10%. Kava, Elron. They're all doing quite well. It's always good to just keep these things in mind. You can always pause this video, look back on any episode so that you can see how the market is tracking. I do these videos to assist you to be more of a financial blessing to yourself and those you love. I hope you found the content useful. Please say hi and let me know where you're viewing from. And if you have any questions, our community is really helpful and supportive and I always do my best to respond as well. If you would like twice daily updates, seven days a week, on price movements in the crypto market, please subscribe to YouTube and follow me on Twitter. You can always reach out on Twitter and direct message me. I don't have WhatsApp. I don't have Telegram. Please don't get sucked in by any scammers. Crypto is volatile. Always prepare yourself for the best and worst case scenarios. Reality will likely be between them. Stay safe out there. Take care and see you next time. Bye for now.